So you just bought your photo booth. What do you do next? Great question. But before we get started on this, you guys hit subscribe, hit the like button on this video. And in the comments, let me know what photo booth you have. Do you even have yours yet? Where are you at in your photo booth journey? Let's go. This is my favorite thing to talk about because the beginning of your journey in your, your photo booth business is going to be one that you're going to remember, right? So always, you know, do me a favor if you're, if you're watching this and you're getting started, you guys make sure you, you appreciate the struggle. You know, you appreciate the weeks where you don't have bookings because if you keep being consistent, you will eventually get to a place where you will be successful, you will be booked all the time, and there will be a point where you need to add another photo booth. So enjoy this time, but let's just get right into it. The first thing you need to do is, and this is what I tell everyone that buys a photo booth from me or anyone that needs help, post on your personal social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, everything that you have that you use, let the world know you have a photo booth. I would highly suggest you take a photo or record a video let everyone know that you're in the business and you are now available to provide your service. What this does, right? Not only will it allow you to get bookings, you know, people love supporting people they love and care about, but it also puts the thought that you have a photo booth into people's heads that you know, that may tell someone that you, do, you don't know that's having, having an event, right? So that's the first thing. That's super, super important. Also, I always recommend doing some free events. I'm not saying 30 of them or 20 of them, maybe two to three events, do them for free, right? You know, I know it's hard to, to think that you just paid maybe a thousand or a couple thousand dollars for some equipment and you're here you are doing it for free but it's one of those things think about it like you have you have no track record right you have no sample photos to show customers that are interested in in your services your social media account is probably light and you don't have any reputation so doing two to three events will allow you to, to go to these events you know I suggest you stay for these events take a bunch of photos do it uh, this way this way you know, some zoom in, some pan shots, some time lapses, some video recording, get absolutely sick in the head about content. Super, super important. Another thing you could do is if you're there and you get a chance to record the person that hired you at the photo booth, do a testimonial, bust out your phone. Hey, Drew here with Drew's photo booth. I am with David, David hired it. Um, he hired us for his daughter's quinceanera. David, what do you think about the photo booth? How do you think it's going? Um, you know, you're at the party, right? So you see the environment. Maybe it's after the party, it doesn't matter. And then David's gonna just say, yeah, photo booth's great. They're gonna hype you up. You can ask a few more questions, but the last question needs to be, David, would you recommend our services to anyone else? David's gonna say yes. Unless Dave, if David doesn't like you, he may say something else, but I've never ran into that. They're gonna tell you good things. And these videos are super, super useful to have for whenever someone is considering booking you, you can send them that video. Like, like I said, if it's for a quinceanera, someone is like, wants to hire you for their daughter's quinceanera, you can send them that, re that review. That's a video review and just say, hey, just here's a testimonial from one of the quinceaneras we did. So use those free events to build content. And most importantly, if, if you're not taking content and let's just say something happens and you don't have your phone or whatever, at least you have experience. And if you run into any issues during these free events, guess what? There's no refund to give. And usually if you're doing free events, it's probably someone that knows you. If you mess up, it's okay. They know, hey, I didn't pay anything. I knew it was your first time. And that's what I'm saying is super important. But most importantly, before any of this, you guys have to know your software. You have to know your photo booth. I can't tell you how many people I run into, they wanna just start getting paid and they wanna start taking bookings, but take the time to learn what you're doing. Literally, would you, would you go to, so, would you let a doctor operate on you that didn't even read the book on how to do a surgery? Absolutely not. So the same thing should apply to the photo booth business. Know it, know it, know it. Practice until you're sick of it. That's, I think that's something that I guess I, I absolutely like was a, a stickler on and I, you know, I know my software well. I, I knew everything about it before I brought it to an event. Even if it's a free event, you should still take the time to learn. And the next thing, this is just directly to people using iPad photo booths because, you know, I'm the iPad guy. All my photo booths are iPads. Make sure you set all of the correct settings on your iPad before your first event. I'm talking guided access. If you don't know what that is, I'm not gonna talk about it here. You can go ahead and YouTube that. But real briefly, what guided access is, it's a function on your iPad that will allow you to lock the software on the iPad. So if you're doing a drop off or you have an iPad at an event, no one can exit the app. That is a very, very big, big, big problem. So make sure you have guided access on. Also, make sure you go on the settings on the iPad, set it to never sleep. Um, Apple products out of the box will be like two minutes. Um, if it's not being used in two minutes, it'll go to sleep. That's an issue because if you have your photo booth at an event and it falls asleep because no one is using it, they're gonna think it's not working. 
And that can be a big problem because you're, you're probably gonna have to give a refund because no one's using the photo booth. You didn't set your settings right. Also, make sure you set the brightness all the way to high. You wanna make sure that the screen is bright. Make sure low power mode is not on. Settings on the iPad, make sure you set it to automatic updates on manual mode. You don't want an uh, update while your photo booth is being used. You wanna be in control of that, right? Also too, make sure you don't have any personal stuff on your iPad in the case, the rare case that guided access turns off. You don't want people having access to your photos. You know, maybe some people use their iPad for personal use. I highly re recommend you don't do that. Also, you guys, now that you have your photo booth, you're gonna wanna start building your social media accounts. I've already said this, but you wanna make sure you have enough content to where it looks like you've been in business longer than one week. I, I would say make, make it look like you've been in business for at least a year. And I have a, a, a rule of thumb. I say on Instagram, you wanna have three swipes, at least one swipe, two swipe, three swipe. That's why I'm saying do those free events like I mentioned earlier and make sure your social media looks healthy. Now moving on, there's things like a website. You should have a website. You should definitely make sure you have a business phone number. You don't use your normal phone number, you guys, because you don't wanna have to pick up your phone every single time you don't see a number and just pick up the phone like, hey, Drew's photo booth. When it's your cousin, he's calling you from jail or, or whoever is calling you from a number you don't recognize. There's so many ways to get like a secondary number on your phone. There's like Google Voice. For us, we use GoDaddy has, um, on our website, we have our own phone number. So when I get a call, it goes to my phone. I know exactly that it's for business. So that's super, super important. So now that we have all that out of the way, right? Let's just focus more on getting hired because that's that's the main part, right? We're in this business to make money. Briefly, I told you about, you know, getting some bookings, letting your friends and family know, but now let's talk about marketing to people that obviously don't know you. Networking is huge. Networking is something that I would say, if I had to drop everything else and only pick one way to get leads, networking. I'm talking email, call, venues, other photo booth owners, Nothing better than being friends with someone that's already in the business, someone that can give you their overflow. You know, the, the times where they're overbooked, they can give that to you. Reach out to DJs, event planners, event coordinators, wedding planners, everyone that's in the event space, you should be rubbing elbows with. And I personally don't like to offer money to venues, coordinators, event planners, because they don't want a little commission. They want, they would rather have you give their customers an awesome deal on a rental. So whether it's a discount, whether they're free upgrades or whatever it is, say, hey, look to the venue. Any of your people that, that are having a party or an event at your venue, we're gonna give them one hour free prints or we're gonna give them a free backdrop upgrade, something. They absolutely love this stuff and never call these people and tell them right off the bat, hey, if you ever get booked, let me know. You wanna be able to start a conversation out like, let me help you. This is how I can help you. Nothing worse than, than someone calling you asking what they want because that happens all the time. They hear it all the time. And um, with DJs and other photo booth owners, it's a little bit different. They are more or less willing to take money because they are in business. That's something that they do. So you kind of have to play like that, you know, email, text, whatever you have to do, make sure you do that. Also, if you wanna get more leads and you wanna grow your business, use Facebook uh, groups, literally go to Facebook. There's a section for groups, type in the area you live in. There will literally be a list of Facebook groups about your city, whether it's uh, soccer moms of Covina or Covina 411, join all of those pages. You can literally see in the groups, right? When you, when you go to Facebook, it'll tell you how many people are in that group. And for instance, for where I live, there's a group with literally 30,000 people in it. I post in that group about once a week, just a uh, literally copy and paste message saying, hey, Drew here, I own a photo booth, I am local. I'd love to give anyone here that's having a party a free upgrade, message me to get the details. Boom, I do that once a week. Every so often it'll hit, it's not consistent, but when it hits, it's great because I didn't pay for it. And also the most important part, it's a local person. So I don't have to drive 30 miles, 40 miles to this event. Most of the time it's local. And if you wanna scale your business with paid ads, my two favorite ways to do it is Facebook ads, Google ads, really quick. This is gonna be a long video if I go into the details. The main difference, between, for my opinion, for Facebook and Google ads is the amount of leads you get for the amount of money you spend. Facebook, hands down, like 10X the amount of leads that you'll get with the amount of money you'll spend on Google. But the difference is when you're making a Facebook ad, your ad is being shown to people that, that are not searching for photo booths. So there's a lot more information to give. There's a lot more window shoppers. So there's a lot more work that goes into that versus Google, more expensive for a lead, but people that are seeing your ads on Google are typing in Google photo booth rental if, if you're using your correct keywords. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Another thing I wanna mention too is make sure you set up your My Google Business page. That is a place for you to get reviews, to add photos about you know your business and all of that. 
If you can really buckle down and make sure you get a review on my Google business for your rentals after each event, you could literally help grow your business because Google is the biggest search engine ever. So imagine this, one year you have, let's just say you did like 50 reviews because you killed it. Your business, when people type in photo booths, you'll, you'll see my Google business will show your, your company info there because you have a lot of reviews. My Google business literally will support um, companies that have a lot of reviews and good reviews. And the pro tip, if anyone's gonna leave a review on your page, kindly ask them to include a photo. Google, the algorithm, they love reviews with photos. For some reason, I don't know why, but that's 100% how it goes. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. And if you are interested in getting started in the photo booth rental business, go to my company, photobooth101.com. We sell iPad photo booths. We have backdrops, props, different types of props. We have Spanish props, all that stuff, right? Also included are sample contracts for you to use with your customers, booking forms, template forms, and also you will have access to our private group chat. We have over 100 people in that chat with photo booths. So we're talking about people in the business. They're doing what you plan on doing and it's just a great resource to have and not to mention you'll have my direct info so if you have any questions about the business i always make myself available to help and if you guys want to see a part two to this video there's so much more stuff i can talk about please let me know in the description let me know you're still watching in the comments just type drew 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 just three times and i'm gonna pick one person in the comments and i will send you something nice thank you guys for watching